Well, glitch settings are back. The full glitch is back, and it makes the game look as the heavens intended again. Partially blooming text, violent distortions are not. For players who not like it, there is a setting to reduce it. I personally always preferred it with full bloom, because the developer did not shy away from intentionally overstepping UI readability for effect. I feel it adds something to the intensity of the game if the HUD suffers from the violence of combat, and it amplifies the feeling of the player being a pilot of the commander inside the aircraft. The reintroduced bloom also appears to intensify the fires on ships. Missiles have received upgrades to the targeting UI, indicating how the missile seeker system functions. Ship explosions now attach very visible black smoke trails to even smaller pieces of debris. I think it's a bit too much because it turns ship explosions into smoke krakens, instead of the beautifully asymmetric explosions it had before. The coordinates of the mouse pointer are shown on the map screen. I'm not sure if this was in the game before. Tactical missiles have tighter smoke trails. When missiles are shot down, there's a rain of small debris flying towards the trajectory of the missile. A big change for shipbuilding is that guns now block each other's sightlines if they're on the same depth. I personally find this change good, as now larger ships cannot always use most of the guns in any direction, which creates opportunities for players to find blind spots to attack. Of course, the same is true for the players' own ships. Anti-ship missiles can now pierce armor. On this picture, you can see the result of an ASM hitting the lower armor of the Sevastopol and detonating several tiles deep after impact. I think this is a good change for two reasons. It makes player fired missiles more valuable when fighting larger ships, as previously they would just soften up armor and require 3 to 4 hits on the same spot to get deep enough to damage ship components. The cost and risk of carrying missiles was not worth it for me previously, and I used to rely on guns for it. Inversely, player controlled ships are now more vulnerable to missiles, which puts an emphasis on solid 37mm gun cover and R9 anti air missiles. For the same reason as with ASMs, I would not spend money late game to rely on AA missiles before. Anti-air missiles now fly faster once the rocket motor starts. Thirty-seven millimeter guns on planes now have an ammo count on the upper left. AI-controlled ships have an improved reaction time against attacking planes, and the aircraft fire now starts much sooner, is more accurate, and more voluminous. Crew requirements for modules have to receive changes. All sensor equipment now has increased crew requirements, ranging from double to eight times more. Generators have a 50% increased crew requirement and the 220mm launcher, twice the amount of crew. The top left armor piece has an increased mass from 29.4 tons to 32.1 tons. The down right armor piece has an increased mass from 18.2 tons to 32.1 tons. I've also found a new cannon type in the game files called the Harpoon. It is, however, not present in the game itself. 